ho, ho! Merry Christmas! drove on the motorway for the first time. It went fine. I don't know why I ever thought it. Um, I'm on my way to Meadow Hall. I'm going out for the day shopping. Um, but I've just come to, I think it's M18 services. Um, just because I really need the toilet and I want a coffee. So it went well-ish. I heard something like hit my car. So I just want to go out and check my car. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm at the services. Um, I'm going to Mudder Hall. I haven't even introduced the video. Hi. <laughs> uh, it's Wednesday. It's my day off. I've got the full day off to myself. I'm so good because me and James were supposed to be going on a nice um, day out. Um, yeah, we had a nice day out and we were supposed to be going together, but we had to change our plans last minute. So I'm super good that he can't be here with me. But um, I can't really complain, we have done a lot together, we've done Amsterdam, we've done every Christmas market, every Christmas concert you could imagine. Um, so I'm going to head back onto the motorway, it's not as bad as I thought, <laughs> at least I can say I've done it now, um, however my car is grafted, like my car is so dirty and sometimes I just feel a little bit nervous on the motorway, like I try not to be near like lorries and stuff just because my car is literally a pebble compared to like these big heavy goods vehicles. So yeah, I'm gonna go to Mud Hall. I'm thinking I'm going to get the Chinese there for lunch. That Chinese I think about on the daily basis. So yes, going to drive there. It was so cute driving here. It was all snowy and frosty. Um, however, I don't want to be too long at Mud Hall because I don't really fancy driving home um, tonight, like evening, because of the frost and the snow. We are predicted snow. So yeah, I don't really fancy driving in that because I am still a new driver technically. And I'm just don't like that, don't like the thought of it. Let's go. Ah, I made it, I made it, I made it, and it went. Well, this coffee is not it, it is just awful. It's just, it was nice at the start, but I don't know about Costa's coffee, you know, it just, very bitter and just, it just tastes a bit like, what I would imagine the sink water at the end of your washing up would taste like. It's just not very nice for the price as well. Blimey. However, I am here. I'm going to put my headphones in, let the world block out because I'm just not going to get stressed because it looks busy. And I'm hoping I'll be able to get my camera out. Don't be nervous. <laughs> Okay, so the dilemma that I'm having is I've got a Christmas party on Friday and I ordered my Christmas dress in October and it's still not arrived. My party's in two days. So hopefully, I just saw something in River Island that I kind of like, but I'm hoping to go to Primark and find something there. But just watch it turn up on Saturday, that's just my luck. Who knew that there was a Bath and Body Works in the UK? I did not. Next stop is Primark. So far I have three bags and everything is for me. <laughs> I feel stressed because I just, I can't find anything and all I can find like for Christmassy bits is stuff for myself. And everything is like Lilo and Stitch or like Mickey Mouse and I just don't, I just don't vibe with that. Okay, this is the section I want to be in. I'm um and iron about this. It kind of gives me like 2010 Hannah Montana vibes. But it's my aim for the weekend is to look like a quality street. And I think this is the right section. Like that is pretty cute. It's pink. I might have to try it on. Trying on. Oh my God, I'm so shaky. Trying on all these outfits is just not. It's taking me a while. What was I thinking? <laughs> this is just doesn't sit right. I look like I'm gonna be in like I don't know, the newest mum me at plus. I'd be very cold. <laughs> what was I thinking? What? <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so I've just sat and had some lunch. I just got the Chinese, it's probably super loud here, you might not be able to hear me. I'm annoyed because that Costa that I had earlier was disgusting. It was so horrible. But it was making me shake like mad. So I was in, I think it's called Pink Vanilla, trying to try on a few dresses. But I just felt like I was like, I need to eat because that coffee has just made me not. Um, and then I was trying to put on, and I can't find anything for Friday, so I'm mega stressed. And I just can't believe the fact that I ordered it two months ago and it still hasn't arrived. But these things happen, so I've had some lunch and I'm gonna go back to the shops, continue Christmas shopping, which is actually what I came here to do, and hopefully try and find something to wear for Friday. Okay, a lot of these Christmas problems have been solved, and I'm very happy. I have a bunch of bags. I have a Christmas dress which I will show you um, but I'm just gonna buy something to eat for the way home because I'm gonna guess it's gonna take me forever. Okay, so I'm just on my way out. I had one of the loveliest experiences one of the with, with one of the ladies in quiz. So they were saying that they were really quiet because of the train strikes um, and so the dress that I wanted wasn't actually out on the shelf, I'd seen it online. So they went in the back and got the dress for me. And then she was like, oh, if I can help you with like any other size. And she was like, oh, you buy yourself. And I just said to her, I was like, yeah, yeah, just shopping alone. And she was like hyping me up in this dress and I was like, I bought it, sold. So yeah, that was super nice. I've just, I'm really out of breath for some reason. I'm trying to find my car. Um, but I'm gonna drive home and it's about five o'clock so I'm probably gonna hit rush hour traffic. But nevertheless, it's been successful and I'm very happy. I was a bit, I was getting to a point where I just was like, yeah, like I'm ready to just go home and I'm just done with shopping. But it went really well and it wasn't that busy considering when the run up to Christmas. So yeah, very successful day. All right, I'm not gonna lie, I actually don't know where my car is. I told myself it was near stairs, but I didn't actually realize how many stairs there are. Look at the state of her. Oh my God, driving here has absolutely... <laughs> I'm gonna have to give her a clean during the week. <laughs> oh, poor Polly. That is a successful day. <laughs> Look at me little emergency basket in the back. <laughs> Also, I've got major beef with myself, right, in Amsterdam, when there was hundreds of people surrounding us, I'm talking hundreds, in like damn square city of Amsterdam streets. I was walking, no issue, vlogging, no problem. And then I get to Sheffield, you could hear, I could feel it in my voice, in that last clip, coming down those stairs, I was like, <sighs> and I don't know why, I don't know why. I'm getting better, I am getting better. But it's home time. I'm home. I'm home, I'm home, I'm home. Gonna do a little haul. I took two wrong turns on the motorway. And my light pressure tire thing came on. Light pressure, tire pressure, I'm tired. Um, yeah, that came on, which was exciting. I didn't really know what to do or if I could do anything. I got this ah! TK Maxx, right? 12 pound, Gymshark, crossback, sports bra in like um, grey are we saying that's grey yeah that is so good right for Gymshark 12 pound brand new love it from Bath and Body Works I got a few Christmas presents so I'm not going to show you them not that I think they'll be watching the video however I got myself a little champagne toast hand sanitizer it almost felt a bit illegal to leave Bath & Body Works without one of their famous hand sanitizers. Um, they were like five for £15, something like that, but I didn't need five. I just wanted one, and it does smell really good. It doesn't smell rubbish. What else did I get? Oh, it's real funny because I just was like, oh, I won't be buying anything for myself because I won't. But I can't actually, I don't really buy stuff for myself a lot, and I really, really liked the stuff that I did buy today. I got this dress um, from Hollister. It's like a little puffy shoulder and it's got like white and pink flowers and it goes like mid sleeve, elbow sleeves. Just a cute little midi spring dress. It was 18 pounds reduced from 40, which I know that this will, I'll wear this forever and I'll keep wearing it and I'll just 
always keep using it. <laughs> so yeah, I was real happy with that. I did try it on. I was so silly. I should have worn like, I don't know, something easy to take on and off today because I wore like obviously jeans and um, a big t-shirt. And so I tried on so many things. And it was just not fun. And I wore Converse as well, that are high top. So I had to keep taking my shoes on and off. And it was just not the vibe. And then got some Christmas presents. Dad, if you saw that, you didn't. Then got more Christmas presents. That's for my mum. I don't think she'll be watching, but I'm not going to show just in case. And then my absolute saviour of the month so like i said before i ordered a christmas um party jumpsuit or fintid in october it's so nice it's like a flared jumpsuit with a v-neck and a cross back and it's glittery and it's red beautiful ordered it every lost it they sent it back to the original person she then sent it again with royal mail they're on strike it's not here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna keep the receipt and the label on this just in case it turns up because this did cost 27 pounds god um which is a lot that's a lot for a dress for me anyway reduced from 40 i guess that's a good thing but oh that means it'll be exchange only <laughs> oh well looks like i'm keeping it but basically it doesn't look like a very nice red on here but it is it's a um play suit which is even better silky red and it has like a really nice neckline um and then a ribbon that goes round and ties i'm thinking of wearing it with you know those fashion tights that have like the polka dot so at least i've got something to wear at the weekend i've been i've been loving wearing my hair in clips so i got myself some more clips from primark you just got white pink purple green blue and white that's not bad. Two pounds for 12, which is actually really good. And then just more Christmas presents, which obviously I'm not going to show. So all in all, it was successful. It's like eight o'clock. No, it's not. It's about half seven. Don't know whether to go to the gym. I don't know whether to stay home and wrap all of these and just, I don't know. But then I have got all day off tomorrow as well, pretty much. So I could do it then. But I had a really good time today. It's quite nice going by myself. I did miss James, but, um, it's probably good in a way that he didn't come with me because I was just trying everything on and he wouldn't have enjoyed just me getting stressed <laughs> over something to wear. So yeah, no, I had a good time. <laughs> there is something about that soundtrack that actually makes me emotional. I can't, I've seen it twice this year um, in the orchestra Eve, and I lay quietly. both times. <laughs> Teared up. I actually cried at the first time I heard it. I'm trying to turn it down. <laughs> so I'm sat by the fire. <laughs> How sweet and cosy. I might wrap these and be like, to me, from me. Love you. <laughs> um, but I'm sat here by the tree. I'm going to wrap all my Christmas presents. Um, it's good actually because I need to keep a note of what I'm buying and who for and how much I'm spending because at this point I'm just buying anything for anyone. Oh, but this is so cosy. I cannot believe there's literally 10 days till Christmas. 10. And oh, I just, I can't, this film, it actually makes me emotional it makes it feel like christmas it's just so i know some people absolutely hate polar express and if you do we can't be friends <laughs> i'm kidding it's just amazing so yeah i'm gonna sit here wrap my presents i've made it all cozy in my little hoodie i say little this thing is huge and heavy ah!